Welcome to the ninth Atom CLI tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at some of the ways that you can manage your descriptions from the command line. As with the other tutorials, we're assuming you've already watched videos 1 and 3, that you've got your Vagrant instance booted up, you're already at the root directory, that you've logged in, and that you have the application open. You could follow along in our documentation today in the Administrator's Manual in the Maintenance section. We'll be looking at some of the entries in the Command Line Tools page. I've got them open here in another tab. First, we're going to look at different ways that you can update the publication status of a description from the command line. For this command, you'll need to know the slug of the description that you want to update. First, let's take a look at some of the built-in documentation for the task. If we type PHP Symphony help tools colon update dash publication dash status, you can see the output. Here we can see the basic usage of the command, which includes the syntax as well as the options available, the arguments, which include what publication status you want to use, and the slug, as well as some of the options available. We won't go through all of them today, but I'll show you a few of them. In my application, I've also set up a description for us to work with today. Let's take a look at that now. Here we are. We'll be working with the delete me phone today. We've added some basic descriptive elements, a couple child records. The description is all in draft, as are the children. You'll notice as well that there is some escaped HTML content down here. As of Atom 2.2, HTML is now escaped automatically in the user interface. Later on in the tutorial, we'll be looking at a command line tool that will help you clean that up if you're upgrading from an earlier version and need to remove HTML content. For now, let's take a look at the publication status task. First, let's look at how we can use this task to update a top-level description without affecting the children. For this, we'll want to use one of the command line options that are available to us, ignore descendants. We'll enter our command, php symphony tools colon update dash publication dash status, and then we'll add one of the options, dash dash ignore dash descendants. This should update the child records, or ignore the child records while updating the parent description. We'll tell it to be published, and we'll give it the slug of our target. You'll have to confirm your actions. Now if we update the page, we should see the parent level description updated while the children remain draft. And we've had a success. The delete me phone is now published and visible to public users. However, we can see in the tree view here that our child descriptions are still in draft. Now let's try running the task without this option. We'll use two other options on the command, however. First, we'll enter our base command. Now we'll enter an option so that we can skip the confirmation phase. You can enter this by adding dash dash no confirm. There's a shorthand for doing this as well. If instead, you can just add dash y. We'll also add a force command to make sure that this goes through. The shorthand for this is dash f. We'll give it our target publication status and the slug. Notice that we don't have to confirm this time since we've used dash y. Now when we update the page, we can see that the child records have been updated to published as well. If 
There's a lot more options available on this task. Be sure to check out the documentation. The next task we're going to look at is to clean up that HTML content that is escaped in Atom 2.2 or later versions. This has been done for security purposes. However, if you've been adding HTML content directly into your edit templates earlier, you may now want to clean it up throughout the application. This task will only work for archival descriptions. Notice here that we have some content added in a field that has escaped HTML. We have a strong tag and an emphasis tag. We have a list and a link added. If we run the task, Atom should do what it can to preserve that formatting where it's able to and remove the rest. We'll enter PHP Symphony I18N colon remove dash HTML dash tags. Task will run through all your information objects or archival descriptions and let you know where changes have been made. In this case, we've had one change. To be certain that the changes have taken effect, we'll clear our cache and we'll restart our services. We've covered these maintenance tasks in one of the earlier Atom CLI tutorial videos. Now we'll refresh our description. As you can see, Atom has preserved the formatting of the bullets and the link by substituting them for Atom compatible formats. However, it's removed the bold and italics. Atom can preserve these first two ones, the bullets and the links, because there are a syntax available in the edit template for doing this. Let's take a look at what this looks like. You can create bullets in description simply by adding an asterisk and a space. Here we can see that Atom has substituted the list elements for asterisks. We can add a third one manually if we want. There's also a new syntax that will work in all edit templates, not just archival descriptions for adding links manually. You add the text you want to display in quotation marks, add a colon, and then the link that you want to use. When saved, Adam will convert this to a friendly link that will not be escaped in the user interface. And there we can see that our second link has been added, as well as our third bullet point. Now the time has come for the delete me phone to finally get deleted. Let's take a look at deleting descriptions from the command line. Remember when using this task that if you delete a parent description, its children will also be deleted as well. Adam will prompt you with a confirmation and give you a list of the number of children affected when you run the task. You'll need to know the slug of the description you want to use. Enter php symphony tools colon delete dash description and the slug of the description you want. Here, Adam's asking for confirmation. We'll say yes. Note that it indicates that the child records have been deleted as well.
Now if we return and look at our available archival descriptions, the delete me fall should be gone. Further, if we refresh the page here, we should get a message telling us that this description no longer exists. Note that there is an option for developers who want to script this task for use in automated scripts to skip over the confirmation step. Final task we'll look at today is a task to delete all draft descriptions in your user interface. This can be useful if, for example, you're sharing your descriptions or your entire database to a portal site. Type php symphony tools colon delete dash drafts. Once again, you'll have to confirm your actions. Adam informs us that we've deleted over 30 records from our system. If we refresh the page there, we can see the effects of this. Because we only had two published top-level descriptions in our system, this is all we now have left. The task has worked. This concludes our ninth tutorial on Atom CLI tools. Remember, you can always check out more information in the Administrator's Manual found in our documentation. Be sure to check out the other videos for more information on using the CLI tools in Atom.